Good evening. Welcome to the 58th Hamilton High School commencement ceremony in celebration of the class of 2022. My name is Leah Balsba, president of the class of 2022. Please remain standing if you are able while we recite the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, and you may be seated. At this time, I would like to introduce Kate Powell, President of Student Council. Thank you, Leah. Good evening. I'm honored to welcome you to the 2022 Hamilton High School Commencement Ceremony. It has been a privilege to serve as Hamilton Student Council President this year, and I'm proud to be graduating among this incredibly talented class of 2022. As we celebrate this class's accomplishments today, it's important to remember the people who have been our support system and helped us to get here. As we look around, take a moment to think of the years of carpooling, late night homework help, after school practices and rehearsals, and unrelenting support for any challenge that laid ahead of us. Look at how many people are here to witness this commencement. It takes a village, whether that be parents, teachers, coaches, advisors, friends, or family. We are truly blessed. Please thank them, give them a hug, and tell them how much they mean to you. Today is the perfect opportunity to do so. They say great lives are just an accumulation of great days. And great days are just an accumulation of great connections. As I stand here, I want to say thank you. Because the connections I have made are the most cherished and valued aspect of my time here at Hamilton. To the teachers who taught us, inspired us, and cheered us on. To our friends who have been there on the best and worst days. To the classmates and peers who have enriched our experience at Hamilton with smiles, conversations, and memories. Thank you. This class has a lot to be proud of. We have overcome great challenge, and we have initiated great change. Sitting before us in this class are football players who led Hamilton to its first outright conference championship. Sitting before us in this class are over 80 National Honor Society members who have served a combined total of over 3,500 service hours in our community. <laughs> Sitting before us in this class are international qualifying competitors in DECA and HOSA. Sitting before us in this class are girls rugby players whose team is ranked fifth in the nation. <laughs> Sitting before us in this class are persevering students, athletes, musicians, and leaders who have taken the initiative to follow through with an idea and create an impact within their community. They say that no army is strong enough to defeat an idea whose time has come. My time at Hamilton with this class has taught me that anyone can change the world with two things, an idea 
and persistence. All it takes is a spark, that one person who cares enough to initiate change and create a new path, a new culture, or a new way of doing things. Everything great that has ever been achieved has originated merely as someone's idea and their persistence to make it happen. In closing, Michael Jordan once said, some people want it to happen, some wish it would happen, and others, they make it happen. Class of 2022, you have your whole life ahead of you. You have all the opportunities in the world, and I know you have the spark to initiate change. If you believe in something, fight for it. If you have an idea, don't give up on it. Take the time to make connections. Lean into the uncomfortable. Use the tools you have gained here in the last four years. And most importantly, be the person who makes it happen. I wish you all the best. Congratulations, class of 2022. Thank you. Thank you, Kate. Good evening. My name is Baljinder Singh, and it is my pleasure to introduce the speakers of our ceremony today. Sitting in the front row is president of the class, Leah Balzva, who led us through the Pledge of Allegiance. Also, we have already been greeted by the president of the student council, Kate Powell. We will soon be hearing from our salutatorian, Nicholas Verapais, and our valedictorian, Molly Robleski. I'd also like to introduce you to the members of our Hamilton High School committee, community who are seated in our staging area and who have come to join in the celebration of our class of 2022. Ms. Rebecca Zingshine, Hamilton School Board member. Ms. Rachel Zemer, Hamilton School Board member. Ms. Dawn Van Aken, Clerk of the Hamilton School Board. Mr. Jay Jones, Vice President of the Hamilton School Board and Mr. Gabe Colisari, President of the Hamilton School Board. The Hamilton High School Administration, Mr. Mike Gaz, Dean and Athletic Director, Mr. Chris Lorischke, Associate Principal, Mr. Mark Otto, Associate Principal, and Mr. Rebecca Newcomer, Principal. We also have our Hamilton School District Superintendent, Dr. Paul Milkey, and our Faculty Commencement Speaker, Mr. Dan Heckman. We are fortunate that all of you have been able to join us this morning in the celebration of our graduation. At this time, I'd like to introduce Mrs. Newcomer for the farewell to our cultural exchange students. Good evening. This year, we were able to welcome two exchange students into our Hamilton community. Ilona Schmoor, if you could please stand and be recognized. Ilona joined us from Germany and was an active member of the drama department. She was in the fall, winter, and spring productions. She also enjoyed being in the concert choir and participating in those performances. Her favorite things about being here include our school spirit and Chick-fil-A. She will be heading back to Germany tomorrow and will be back at high school in the fall because she has two more years to complete her secondary education in Germany. Thank you for sharing your talents with us, Ilona. Our second student is Katrine Patkey. Katrine, if you could stand and give a wave. Katrine's home country is Denmark. She was involved in the girls' lacrosse team and played attack when she was on the field. She liked attending our football games and making new friends, and Katrine is hoping to stay in touch after she returns home. She, too, will be back in high school in the fall because she has two more years to complete her secondary education in Denmark. Thank you for being a part of Hamilton this year. 
We hope you enjoyed your time here, Ilona and Katrine, and we wish you all the best. Before I introduce our faculty speaker, I'd like to take a moment to thank a few people who made this gathering possible. A huge thank you to my administrative assistant, Tracy Bauman, Hamilton's administration, Mark Otto, Mike Goss, and Chris Larischke, the support of Dr. Milkey and the Board of Education, Mr. John Washbush and his crew for the live streaming, and the music department for their contributions to our ceremony. And the sunshine right now. <laughs> um, Mr. Eddie Navarro and his crew for the, sed, uh, for the setup and the presentation of Grove Field. And of course, our faculty and staff who volunteered to be here to assist in organizing and to be a part of celebrating you, our class of 2022. This year, we are again proud to highlight our dynamic partnership with, with Waukesha County Technical College in our dual enrollment program. Students completed their high school diploma requirements while concurrently earning half their associate's degree program requirements at WCTC. Would those students who have completed this dual enrollment program please stand and be recognized at this time. Thank you. Another group of students who have made a courageous and selfless decision to serve our country and protect our freedom are those who are enlisting in the armed forces. Would those students please stand and be recognized. And if you are a guest of ours today and are currently serving or have served in a branch of the military, please stand so we might be able to thank you for your sacrifice. Thank you so much for your service. And we have an unusual award this year that we would like to recognize. There is one member of the class of 2022 that has achieved perfect attendance for all four years of her high school. Madison Barnes, please stand. Madison, I know I have told you this several times, but this is an amazing achievement. Thank you so much for being so dedicated. Class of 2022, this ceremony is a moment in time that separates your past from your future, from where you have been to where you are going. With this in mind, you have chosen a faculty member who has known you for the past four years, and here, he is here to address you and to give you some words of wisdom as you set forth on your journey after Hamilton. Before he begins, I'd like to tell you a little bit about the faculty member whom you have chosen as your speaker. Mr. Dan Heckman, social studies teacher and proudly a member of the Hamilton High School graduating class of 1987 when he opted for the feathered wave hairstyle rather than the mullet. <laughs> After graduating from Hamilton High School, Mr. Heckman attended Bethel University where he earned his undergraduate degree in Broadfield Social Studies and Secondary Education. After graduating, Mr. Heckman returned to his alma mater to teach and has been at Hamilton for the past 30 years. During that time, he also went back for his master's degree in educational leadership and graduated from Marion College. We have been fortunate to have had him on our faculty and working with us for the past 30 years and with all of our students. We have seen him in several coaching capacities, including girls and boys basketball, football, tennis, track, and golf. You can see him at most home events as a scorekeeper, game manager, and always a cheerleader. Mr. Heckman has been known to remind his students that when attending HHS, they are actually attending Heckman High School. It is just that nobody has gotten around to changing the signage yet. When the students were asked to vote for a faculty speaker and give a rationale for the nomination, some of the reasons for his nomination are as follows. 
Mr. Heckman cares about me as a person and a student. He is energetic and gets students involved with the curriculum. His effort to create relationships with students pushes them to do their best. It was also noted that he makes learning fun, is supportive, and is indeed the GOAT, greatest of all time. I would be remiss if I left out the comment that he has nice hair, but he just got a haircut. In my three years of getting to know Mr. Heckman, I absolutely understand where all of those comments are coming from. I enjoy all of my conversations with Mr. Heckman. He is so reflective. He's an amazing listener. He gives good advice, and he always makes me laugh. Mr. Heckman understands the value of a team, as well as the value of each individual person in the stadium. I am grateful that my path crossed with him and he has made an impression on all of you as well. I am honored to introduce and welcome to the podium our 2022 Student Chosen Commencement Speaker, coach, teacher, and overall wonderful human being, Mr. Dan Heckman. Thank you, Mrs. Newcomer. Although we went through an identity crisis, and we were never very good at athletics, and we never had the super fans of our rivals, wait a second, there's a problem. This is Menominee Falls' graduation speech. How did this get here? Somebody take it over to them and tell them to try again next year. Class of 2022, I was waiting for Sam Floor, Derek Lehner, or at least Nicole Gelfie, or any of you other pranksters, to pull a stunt that never happened. However, I then realized that the joke was on me when you voted me to give this speech. I've been a part of many amazing events in my teaching career, but this might be the greatest honor or recognition that I have ever received. So thank you, class of 2022. Our 32nd president, Franklin Roosevelt, said that there are three Bs of giving a good speech. Now I know, Celine, you're freaking out when you hear the, the, the term B. This is not the grade B, all right? So the three Bs are be good, be brief, and most important, be gone. So, I hope that I'll be all three here in the next couple of minutes. Our politicians tell us that elections have consequences, and since you've elected me to give the graduation speech, I won't be giving you a chase your dream speech. I have heard some of your dreams, and quite frankly, they are ridiculous. <laughs> Although Pranav's used car dealership kind of has a ring to it. Also, I won't be reading you a children's book telling you the places you will go. For in 1987, I was in your exact place, and I've gone absolutely nowhere. Nor will I tell you to change the world, but I might recommend you change your little place in the world by passing on a lesson that was told to me about life. Now, you guys are smart, all right? We got some golf balls here. Many of these golf balls are part of the 99 balls that Mason and Nats lost this season. <laughs> but is this jar full? No, it's not, right? So let's add some things to it. How about some pebbles? The jar is still not full, so let's add some sand to it, shall we? All right, now 
that jar is pretty much full. Let's top it off here. Nothing better than a quick trip coffee. Dwyer, you know what I'm talking about here. All right? This jar represents your life. The golf balls are the important things in life. They are your family, your friends, your health, and your faith. Make life about the people that are involved in your life. Life is about the relationships you develop. The past 30 years of my life has become incredibly rich due to the relationships that have been forged by having students in my classrooms. My Global Issues class, God bless you. Briar, you will rule the world one of these days. I told you I'd get you in here. Kids in my advisement, autopilot for the last four years. God only knows what I'm going to get next year. And athletes on my teams, the time spent with you has been absolutely phenomenal. The relationships that have been built are the important things to me. The pebbles in the jar, they're the other important things. They represent your passions, your talents, your career, your home. Class of 2022, you have demonstrated your talents from the boys and girls golf teams to the volleyball and softball and football teams here at Hamilton. You guys were incredible. Not to mention all the pebbles that are on display with the amazing artists and performers we have here at Hamilton. Is there anything better than the band playing at a basketball game or the drumline performing at the pep rally? The sand, that's everything else. That's the small stuff. The sand is like your social media. It represents the likes on your snapograms or how many followers you have on your Insta chats. <laughs> Those things are the small stuff. Don't worry about them. Don't focus on the sand. It was a few weeks ago where the Charger golf team was competing in a tournament and Michael Addy is staring down his second shot. And he looks at me and he says, Coach, I'm going pin hunting right now. I said, Michael, the center of the green is just fine. Michael proceeds to hit his second shot right into the sand bunker. What is Coach Heckman focused on? The sand. Oh my gosh, Michael's in the sand. There goes his round. It's over. I was focused on the sand. Michael wasn't focused on the sand. He wasn't worried about the small stuff. He proceeded to hit his third shot six inches from the hole and tap in for a par. And as we all know, he went on to win the tournament. Don't focus on the sand. So here's the lesson. If you put the sand in the jar first, you won't have room for the golf balls or the pebbles. The same is true in your life. If you put all your energy and your time into the small stuff, you won't have any time in life for the things that really matter to you. Pay attention to the things that are critical to your happiness. Take care of the golf balls first. The real important things. Set your priorities because everything is just sand. You might be asking, what does the coffee represent? It's a great question. The coffee reminds us that no matter how satisfying our life is, there is always room for a couple of beverages with good friends. <laughs> Class of 2022, for God's sake, stay out of the sand. For wolves, do not lose sleep over the opinions of sheep. Class of 2022, be you. Make someone's day like Savannah Lanfear. 
while we're at it, why don't you just run somebody's classroom for the next four years? Or write this graduation speech. Thank you, Savannah, you're the best. Discuss with the intellect of Justine Akuai or Kate Donnelly. Swing like Michael Addy. Perform like Indian Locke. Compete like Alex Eichmann. Excel like the boys and girls golf team. Do it with the dramatic effect of Emma Falstitch. And most of all, do it with the confidence and swagger of Jack DeGeorge. Class of 2022, congratulations, and I'll see you down the road. Thank you, Mr. Heckman. Class of 2022, you absolutely made the right choice there. Our next address will be from our salutatorian, Nicholas Vera Pies. Nico will be attending Purdue in the fall with the intention of studying engineering. Please welcome Nicholas to the stage so I can award him with his salutatorian medal and he can address his classmates. School board members, school administrators, parents, family, friends, and loved ones. On behalf of the graduating class, I would like to thank you all for sharing this momentous occasion with us. My name is Nico Vera, and I'm honored to have the opportunity to speak before you all today. Many of you know me as a nerd, as a kid who gets good grades, or as someone who scored well on the ACT. While I won't deny these descriptions, I am much more than that. Contrary to popular belief, I don't go home, bury my head in a textbook for a few hours, and then go to sleep. I'm a runner, a tutor, a volunteer, a sibling, and a friend. I'm the culmination of the efforts of many people, including my friends who offer me advice and support me in anything I do, along with the efforts of my parents who have lost sleep and sanity, assisting me on late night projects that I have inevitably procrastinated until the day before they're due. Just as there is more to me than meets the eye, before me sits a group of students, each person being a multifaceted individual with strengths, weaknesses, hobbies, and talents that set them apart from everyone else on this planet. This graduating class contains innovators, artists, athletes, and skilled workers that are without a doubt the future of our country. Our class has already demonstrated its capacity for adaptation and impact on our community. As many of you remember, beginning at the end of our sophomore year, we were forced to move our education online. Even faced with all the adversities accompanying the shift, our class managed to persevere and make the best out of the situation. We were even able to return to a semblance of normalcy this past year, with the return of many events that were previously canceled, such as blood drives, dances, and sporting events. In addition to our commendable recovery from the pandemic, we've also had great success in a plethora of extracurricular activities, kept the Hamilton standardized test averages well above the state and national averages, and volunteered thousands of hours of our time through a multitude of organizations. We have also acted as mentors to the future classes, ensuring that they will continue this legacy, even when we aren't present anymore. Now all of these events, both the good and the bad, are behind us, and I'm confident that each and every one of us is ready to finally transition to the next phases of our lives. It's time to make the most of our last summer before we move out, spending time with friends that we may not see again in the foreseeable future, enjoying the warm weather, planning Nerf gun ambushes, and sleeping in as late as humanly possible. In the end, it is clear that we are nearly unrecognizable from the group of scared, naive freshmen experiencing getting clapped at by upperclassmen at a pep rally for the first time. Although we will all be heading our separate ways after today, 
spreading into an incredibly diverse array of post-secondary institutions, the workforce, serving our country through the military, or whatever else we plan to do after high school, we all share the same foundation that we have gained at our time inside the walls of HHS. Our accomplishments over the last four years, while being fundamental experiences in our lives, will pale in comparison to the future opportunities and achievements that lie ahead of each one of us. I would like to conclude my speech in the words of the time-traveling scientist, Doc Brown, from the movie Back to the Future. Your future hasn't been written yet. No one's has. Your future is whatever you make it, so make it a good one. Good luck in your future endeavors, class of 2022. Thank you, Nico. Our next student speaker is the 2022 valedictorian, Molly Robleski. Molly will be attending Michigan Tech in the fall with the intended major of engineering. Please welcome Molly to the stage so I can award her with her valedictorian medal, and she will then address the class of 2022. Thank you, Ms. Newcomer. I am incredibly honored to be speaking in front of you all today. To introduce myself, my name is Molly, I am blonde, I am valedictorian, and I absolutely love watching movies. So as you can imagine, I have a deep connection with the movie Legally Blonde. For those of you who haven't watched the movie, you definitely should, because it's my favorite. But the gist is, everyone underestimates Elle Woods until she gets to Howard the Ball, and ultimately proves herself to all the people that doubt her. Now, I will not be attending Harvard Law next year, but I'd say Michigan Tech is pretty close to it. As I was watching it, I felt that this movie's basic principles can connect to this year's senior class just as much as it does to me. Throughout our days in the Hamilton School District, we have beat the odds to make our high school experience unforgettable. As Ella Woods would say, what, like it's hard? Well, for a lot of people, it was pretty hard, myself included. I think that it is safe to say for the past four years, we have not been what we expected, but that does not mean we didn't make the best of it. Our class has persevered through some of the most challenging and uncertain times. Let's start with freshman year. As freshmen, we were just beginning our high school journey. We had a new building, new teachers, and saw new faces walking the halls. For many people, this was a time filled with uncertainty and unfamiliar experiences. To make things even worse, our classes were constantly interrupted. That year, we experienced the fire alarms going up daily, five snow days, construction noise during class, and a complete power outage. It even got to the point that school had to start earlier each day in order to make up all the time we had lost. But the worst was still yet to come. On March 13, 2020, the middle of our sophomore year, the entire school was told to pack their lockers and not return for the rest of the year. The pandemic took away everything that we thought we would get to experience. Sports, dances, pep rallies, and getting to see our best friends every day. Zoom calls be became the new classrooms and AP tests were done online within our own homes. Every day, the news talked about the new normal and the uncertainty of the future ate away at our class. Would we get to return back to school? Will we get to live the high school dream like every other class did? Our questions were answered during our junior year. A large portion of our student body opted to con continue doing school virtually while some stayed in the classroom. And if you were in person, chances are you were contact traced at least once. We all know the tension that would fill the room when the clipboard lady would come in with the seating chart and her tape measure. <laughs> the circumstances that we went through in our sophomore year junior years were hard both physically and mentally, but despite this, there seems to be a glimmer of hope. Over time, the case numbers seem to slowly fall and COVID restrictions were lifted at school. Through all the uncertainty, fear, and change, we came out stronger. 
The accomplishments we had in our senior year were groundbreaking, and we were able to wrap up high school the way we hoped it would have gone the last four years. We were able to bring back school dances and pep rallies. Our sports teams came back better than ever, too. The football team won the conference championship through an undefeated season in the GMC, and the girls' golf team took runner-up at state. At the state drama show, our seniors helped Hamilton sweep the competition for their one-act play by winning every possible award they offered. HOSA qualified for internationals. At the Southeastern Conference competition, DECA won a record-breaking 139 awards. And there are probably even more accomplishments that I am forgetting about. Finally, as a whole, our class won a grand total of $2.75 million in scholarship money. If that isn't perseverance, I don't know what is. This next year, some of us will be going to a four-year college. Others will be going to a technical school or entering the workforce. A few will even be joining the US military. Wherever life takes us, I am confident our perseverance and resilience learned throughout these past four years will help us overcome any problem that may be thrown our way. Even though this day may mark the end of a chapter, it also opens a new one for us to create. For some of us, it might even be Harvard Law. Who knows? So to quote Elle Woods one last time, congratulations class of 2022, we did it. Thank you, Molly. At this time, the choir will be singing for us. The song that has been chosen as a dedication to this graduating class is Time of Your Life, originally recorded by the band Green Day. Today, it will be performed by our a cappella group, The Hamiltones, directed by Ms. Taylor Schmidt.
Thank you, Hamiltones. Parents, relatives, friends, distinguished faculty and administration, Dr. Milkey, members of the Hamilton Board of Education, and all of our viewers at home. Sitting before you is the graduating class of 2022. This class has honored Hamilton High School with their perseverance and determination through these unprecedented times, and we will miss them. At our award ceremony in May, members of this class submitted their accepted scholarship awards, which totaled just shy of $3 million. In addition to their academic achievements, this class is filled with individuals who are welcoming, spirited, determined, and funny. Class of 2022, as we prepare to part ways, I'd like you to know how proud we are of you and how much we want you to find happiness and success in whatever path of life you choose. As our students make their journey through their school years, they make new friends and may grow apart from others, but remain in casual contact. Still others move away, either to surrounding districts and sometimes out of state. And in sadness, some are taken away from us without being able to say goodbye. Today we will take a moment to remember a classmate whom we wish was here with us today. We lost Allison Verhalen as an elementary school classmate, and we would like to call your attention to the front of the stage where we have a bouquet of flowers and graduation regalia in, mem in remembrance of Allison. If we could please take a moment of silence to remember Allison and those we wish were here with us today. Class of 2022, as we get ready to have you cross the stage, Please know that I want nothing but good fortune for you as you leave us for the last time. You have provided me with many laughs, particularly last week, uh, a couple of headaches, and many wonderful memories. Thank you. Dr. Milkey and the Hamilton Board of Education, it is with great honor that I present the class of 2022 with assurances that each member of this class has met the established graduation requirements. On doing so, each member has earned the rights and privileges thereof. Congratulations to graduates and families. And despite your efforts of parking last week, we're gonna go ahead and honor you your diplomas. I'm honored to accept the class of 2022 and recommend them for presentation of diplomas I now invite graduates to come forward to receive diplomas in the manner prescribed for you. Congratulations. Michael Addy. Todi Afalion. Dhruv Ahuya. Joseph Adich. Lauren Ambrukian. Madison Anderig. Molly Robleski. Nico Vera. Baljinder Singh. Kate Powell. 
Leah Balsba. Josh Beveron. Rachel Anderson. Cameron Aaron. Robert Averett. Lauren Baker. James Baldus. Tatum Baldwin. Madison Barnes. Reed Barthel. Madeline Bauer. James Bauer. Adriana Bauman. Sydney Burns. Evan Becker. Noel Beffa. Johnny Bear. Sam Barron. Maya Bell. Caleb Benson. Jaden Bentrup. Bo Bauer. Elizabeth Berry. Carson Betwee. Haley Danderan. Macy Bins. Victor Birkenheyer. Kate Blankenheim. Andrew Bland. Bo Bowinski. Nadine Brown. Carter Brown. Katie Breyer. Cora Brooks. Alyssa Brown. Owen Buckles. Braden Buckles. Max Birch. Liam Downs. Sarah Burrow. Brady Burns. Ian Camden. Tori Campanelli. Gracie Campbell. Reagan Chick. Ryan Harashi. Benjamin Clark. Aiden Kluka Foy. Chelsea Cornwall. Riley Dahlquist. Sam Floor. Taylor Daniels. Lauren Denker. Mackenzie Davidson. McKenna Didi. Akash Deepak. Jack DeGeorge. Blake Demlang. Kyle Dempsey. Charlie Dine. Josiah Demon. Ian Dolney. Panita Donald. Caitlin Donnelly. 
Isaiah, Isaiah Gibson. Gibson. Sumaya Drover. Abriana Duke. Haley Dwyer. Devin Ecker. Courtney Edwards. Rosemary Easley. Alexander Eichmann. Peyton Essen. Serena Evers. Emma Falstich. Hunter Fink. Elizabeth Fisher. Ty Hennings. Kevin Fox. Anna Frafier. Will France. Skylar Fritz. Elena Fry. Isaiah Furman. Annabella Ganizamana. Nicole Gall. All right. Madeline Gammon. Sonia Godinski. Matthew Gerardo. Camden Gurkey. Nicole Gelfi. Haley Ingham. Connor Geisel. Brianna Goebel. Madeline Gorgon. Samuel Gritzmacher. Nathan Gunderson. Ismerelda Gutierrez. Isabel Gutowski. Marcella Hahn. Abigail Halcom. Gavin Hall. Morgan Heinzelman. Faith Johnson. Lauren Gilmartin. Melina Herr. Dylan Hybecki. Brady Hicks. Jake Hearn. Alicia Holzem. Colby Horn. Ryan Hodek. Ethan Hauser, Lucas Hubrid, Ethan Hunt, Connor Indestead, Cole Claudie. Bryn Islow. Brandon Iverson. Ayush Iyengar. Alexandra Jackson.
Tyler Janiszewski. Lily Jankowski. Blaze Janowski. Holly Gent. Adam Jeter. Mariano Jimenez. Molly Johnson. Robert Cusso. Tamia Johnson. Rick Johnson. Nick Johnson. Vincent Jurgensen. Pranav Kara. Luke Call. Claire Kelbell. John Kerber. Lauren Kesson. Parker Kesting. Sarah Kidd. William Kickbush. Lauren Lasilla. Kyle Klapperick. Abriel Clawitter. Paige Kleba. Emma Klein. Lacey Kling. Callan Clender. Logan Kohler. Prothmesh Kanda Gopinath. Kennedy Kupcha. Hannah Corbin. Cassandra Ludi. Haley Krieger. Julianne Kalman. Micah Kulis. Celine Kirchai. Matt Cusero. Anna LaFour. Savannah Lanfear. Ben Landry. Isabel Langkamp. Paige Lathrop. Derek Laner. Edward Lysing. Andrew Lapine. Casey Lewandowski. Michael Lidke. Sydney Litzow. India Locke. Grace Losey. Caitlin Loveday. Catherine Lewick. Freddie Lures. Christian Lutz. Bianca Mack. Riley McGurney. Viet Mai. Spencer Margolis. Braden Martin. Sophia Martin. Allison Massick. Eleanor Mathias.
Josie Maurer. Jake McCoy. Haley McKinnon. Brenna McClay. Alex Meisner. Evan McCreary. Ayana Mendez. Linnea Manessis. Mason Middow. Lillian Miller. Nora Miller. Nicholas Mitchell. Brianna Moser. Sierra Morgano. Logan Moriarty. Benjamin Mumper. Jack Musilowski. Mason Nats. Ania Nagamanavar. Miles Nagler. Ava Nass. Lexi Niels. Mitchell Niels. What's it? Nicholas Newberg. Emily Nielsen. Francis Nitz. Elizabeth Nolby. Brittany Wanasike. Cameron O'Dell. Shannon O'Dwyer. Adam Oberlin. Vinny Ola. Kayla Olson. Eric Osenga. Ethan Pacanella. Katie Palmer. Raghav Pandia. Katrine Papke. John Pappas. Drew Peterson. Jamarion Peterson. Nicholas Peterson. Nicholas Fersh. Nolan Fister. Kevin Pontfavon. Ayana Phelps. Nathan Plum. Tori Poli. Luke Pulaski. Logan Quella. Ella Quinlan. Braden Rabarchik. Grace Reek. Lucas Rafel. Zach Reinhardt. Elias Rhodes. Brady Rhodes. 
Vincent Rice. Katie Richter. Mia Rogowski. Caitlin Ross. Cameron Ross. Teresia Russell Dean. CJ Szymanski. Pranavesh Saravanan. Annika Sayers. Katie Scafidi. Isabella Scheiber. Billy Scher. Adam Schiffer. Matthew Slowendrop. Joshua Schmooky. Sienna Schneider. Dylan Schultz. Zach Schultz. Alyssa Schultz. Bernard Schur the fifth. Sophia Scott Poss. Lindsay Sikora. Maria Salki. Ashley Sepulveda. Trisha Shankar. Miranda Simons. Gupreet Singh. David Sippel. Maya Skinkiss. Heather Slamer. Elena Smith. Ilona Smore. Jacob Spurl. Weston Sprinkle. Jacob Shermalski. Luca Stacy. Abigail Steele. Grace Stefaniak. Emily Stevenson. James Strasburg. Madison Stromberg. Emma Strubing. Maya Suneja. Annika Sislak. Lauren Tennyson. Paku Tao. Lydia Tumavang. AJ Tiladetsky. Kiana Tim. Connor Tahalka. Alex Tong. Matthew Trubinsky. Cullen Trichel. Ethan Tusik. Jacob Ulrich.
Cassandra Uribe. Cole Vandeven. Joey Venn. Connor Voss. Autumn Wallentowski. Jesse Wachowia. Samantha Wampole. Jonathan Wang. Lania Wislowski. Michael Watson. Lauren Weber. Natalie Waddell. Emiliana Weisgerber. Alexandria Wanger. Mitchell Westfall. Keaton White. Robert Wick. Connor Wilcox. Abigail Wilkerson. Ryan Wojciechowski. Ethan Wolfinger. Ethan Wunrow. Jared Wunschel. Alina Shang. Chu Shang. Jeremiah Yang. Noah Zart. Tyler Zeno. Ella Zyler. Zoe Zingshan. Shane Zofel. Spencer Zofel. Kayla Zakovich. To signify the successful completion of this ceremony and to begin our recessional, the class of 2022 will now stand. And please move your tassels to the left side. Congratulations to the Hamilton High School class of 2022.